Hey there, Paul here. I just wanted to take you through some things I've been figuring out. Uh, so I've been using OBS a fair bit to Twitch and I've also needed to connect to Zoom. And I've found a lot of issues getting them all to sync up right. There's a few guides to do it, to try and get the audio plugged in right. And I hadn't quite found anyone that really described how to do it properly. So I thought I would give it a shot because I finally figured out this morning. So first of all, let me share my screen. Now I have OBS open, so we'll get that weird like picture in picture thing going, right? So you, you, you've seen this before, um, but that's okay. Actually, let me show you my web browser first. So there's a couple of things that really make this work uh, and they're all available from this VB audio software. So I had to set up three virtual audio cable. Uh, and so to do that, I needed to get both this VB cable AB and VB cable C bundle. And then the other thing I got to make it work was this uh, voice meter banana, which you basically treat as a mixer to get everything all coming into one place. So with that in, let's have a look at how my wiring is done. So let's bring up voice meter. Uh, so this is voice media here, and you can see I have zoom input coming in through cable B. I have my mic input coming in from my microphone. In this case, it's a Yeti. I have my desktop coming in from uh, audio cable D. And then I have, if I want it, I have an OBS monitor set up on an auxiliary input that uh, voice meter provides. Uh, but I haven't had to use that yet. And then I have three outputs set up, A1, A2, and A3. A1 is going to my headphones. So this is everything I wanna hear. A2 is going to Zoom, and A3 is going to OBS, right? And so I have output set up and I have input set up. And then you have these checkboxes and click to enable what outputs these inputs are going to. Uh, say I have my microphone here. I don't necessarily want to hear myself talk. So that's only set to output to Zoom and OBS. If I do want to hear myself talk, I can hit that button and immediately I am hearing myself through my headphones. Uh, so next uh, we have Zoom. It's outputting to my headphones and to OBS. My desktop is outputting to all three. So it's outputting to my headphones to Zoom and to OBS. Uh, and then with all that in place, the only thing OBS needs to output to is to the stream itself. So I don't actually need an input for OBS. And that's really it for voice meter. And so we have those cables set up, the virtual cable set up that enables this, and then we're wiring the inputs and the outputs together uh, to make that work. In OBS, uh, we have a couple of things going on. We'll come back to OBS. So this may be a Windows only thing, but there's a virtual camera plugin you can download from the OBS website. And uh, once that's there, you can hit start here. And that will basically take whatever you're streaming through OBS and output it as a camera function, which means in my Zoom window, I now see my OBS, right? So that's not super exciting getting that weird zoom right down. Uh, but me, let me have a look. I have another computer hooked up to the Zoom meeting. So I can show you that um, that's what my other computer is seeing. So you can see whatever is at being outputted from OBS, uh, in this case, uh, the OBS screen is then being shown into Zoom on the other end. And that's super useful for me because I want people on the Zoom to also see what the people on Twitch are seeing and vice versa, right? I want to be outputting the same thing to both. Um, if I want to actually play Zoom through to OBS, I have a Zoom button here, uh, re-enable Zoom here. And of course it's gonna cascade again for the same reason as before, because we're sort of ending up with this picture in picture thing. Uh, so I'll turn that off for now. So here in Zoom, I will set up video settings here. I uh, can see I have video set up to the OBS camera. 
Uh, so that's how it's seeing that. Uh, and then I have my audio set up. So my speaker is set up for cable B and my microphone is set up for cable A. So if you look at this side by side with voice meter, you can see that cable B is my zoom input here and then cable A is my zoom output here. Uh, and so that's how that wiring is happening. And then if we look at my OBS settings, uh, you can see under audio, I have everything disabled but cable C, which in voice meter, cable C is A3. So basically that is all the inputs that are ticked for A3 down here. And so that is how the audio is getting streamed out to Twitch or getting recorded to video, whatever you're doing. The only thing I have in my mixer is the thing coming from voice meter. And so now whatever I'm doing on my machine, whether it is talking into the microphone, whether it's playing audio from an app, say I play uh, audio from YouTube. So you can see I have audio there. It's quite loud and it's probably drowning me out. So I can come back to voice meter. I can check this guy and now I can hear the music and myself. And the music is kind of drowning me out. So I can, if I want to drag that down. So there's just a little light bit of music in the background and you can hear my voice. And that seems reasonable to me. So I can then turn my monitor back off and I'd have to listen to myself talk. And so that's it. That is Zoom and OBS hooked up in a way where whatever I'm displaying in my scene is going to both uh, Twitch or YouTube and into my uh, Zoom. And then whatever I'm listening to, whatever sounds are playing, whether it's me talking or whether it is something playing on my computer, that is also being streamed through to both Twitch or YouTube and also Zoom. Uh, but that's it. Uh, hopefully this was useful for you. Uh, I know a lot of people have been struggling to make this work. As I said, some of this software is donationware. Like give the guy a few dollars. I think that's it. So thank you for watching.